It must suck to be a woman now. It must absolutely suck to be a woman. Knowing that you can't even compete. You can't even compare to a man. They dominate you in your own sports. They dominate you in your own things. It's happening. These, these, these trans women, these men, many of them still have a dick and balls. Many of them still have to powder their balls while they compete. Dominate you in track and field. Dominate you in weightlifting. Dominate you in beauty pageants. They just dominate because men are better than women, apparently. And it's not me saying it. It's apparently the science, if you want to call it that. Ladies, I feel for you. I'm actually wanting, I'm actually on your side here, okay? So if you if you take what I say as insult or salty, or if you're like I'm rubbing it in, I'm trying to help you wake up because I'm saying it must suck to be you, ladies. It must absolutely suck knowing that you're being dominated by men left and right, big burly men that say, I'm a woman now. And that's all it takes for them to outcompete you in weightlifting. Why don't why, why doesn't that big burly man compete with the other big burly man? Oh, because he can't. And he knows he can outcompete you for gold. That's why. Because he's an asshole. That's why. That's why. No one wants to say it. No one will call it out. And that's what it is. And ladies, here's why I also feel for you here is because I know you're trapped and I know you want to say something, especially the very liberal ladies, but you can't say a damn thing. And when you do say something about these these uh, trans women that want to be women um, and, and just think just by identifying as a woman, they now have the experience and everything like that. If you call that out, they come after you saying you're a transphobe. They tar and feather you with a label that's equivalent to being a racist, being, you know, being a bigot. Um, you need to tell those people they could just shut the fuck up and not 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 even listen to them. Don't give them time. Don't give them attention. Because those men are trying to dominate you. Hey, feminists, you rage against the patriarchy. Guess what? The patriarchy is winning. They're infiltrating you. You have men in your mints. You do. And some of these people aren't even passing. They don't even try. Like I said, they still have a dick of balls. I guarantee you their dick is bigger than mine. I guarantee you. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Mm. That's all it takes now. Ladies, ladies, do you want the word woman to mean nothing? To mean nothing? Is that what you want? How does it feel, ladies, that the identity of a woman, the experience of a woman means nothing now? It's just makeup. It's just a label you put on. It's just clothes you put on. The whole experience of being female is something someone could just merely pretend to have been through. That's all it is. That's all it is. You don't like this? Well, that's the reality we are in now, and I don't see it changing. I don't see it turning course be, or changing course because Biden's totally for making sure men are sharing the space with women. Just They just have to say that they're women. Oh, ladies, you don't like having a dick and balls in your spa? Guess what? You're a bigot. Ladies, you don't like the fact that that dude outruns you? Guess what? You're a bigot. Guess what, ladies? You don't like the fact that uh, that dude won Miss, uh, Miss, what was it? Miss Tennessee, Miss Alabama? I have no, Miss Nevada. That's what it was. Miss Nevada. Uh, ladies, you don't like the fact that on the internet, finboys do it better? That Twitter's praising finboys unironically because women... Women just can't compete with pussy. Is that it? That's it. Ladies, I'm telling you, I feel for you. It must absolutely suck to be you because you can't vocalize your your angst, your anger, your grievance with this whole thing. And you know what? It's kind of your own making. It's kind of your own making. Not kind of. It is your own making. You have your own you have yourself to blame. This part you're not going to like. This part you're going to think I'm really, really uh, just rubbing it in. But maybe I'm just talking to the rad fems. But when you 
Go against men like that. Be like, oh, men are toxic, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Why you're championing, championing uh, the, you know, certain trans rights, including trans to be women, that trans women are women. When you do that, now you got dudes with you. Now you got dudes. They're like, all right, I'm a woman now. All right, I have the female experience. All right, I can give birth now. All right, I, I have periods now. All right, I know what it's like to, uh, I don't know, have breasts and a pussy when they don't. And they never will. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Ladies, how do you feel about this? I know you're angry, but you can't say anything. And the ones that do get called out as being a bigot. And I see this time and time again. I will see other women call out other women for being a bigot. For on all that other woman was trying to do was say that they don't want a dick and balls to be in the female restroom. That's what they're saying. Or they don't want a man to just say that they have uh, lived the female experience or that a man knows what it's like to be on a period uh, that a man knows what it's like to be all hormonal and go through the emotional uh, situations that, that, that a woman does. Okay. I could see how that could be very patronizing. I could see how it could be extremely patronizing as a woman to listen to a man say that he knows what it's like to be a woman, that he knows what that experience is like. I know it hits you in your core and I know it even I has to and it has to even register with the ones that will call out other women for being transphobe or speaking out about it. But there are two chicken shit to say anything. And look, I'm not saying being a transphobe. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, I'm saying when you when you vocalize, hey, being a woman is different than being a trans woman. That's not transphobe. You're not saying you're phobic to trans people. You're saying, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. Back the fuck up. Let's take this back. Uh, you could be a trans woman all you want, but you say that because you're a trans woman, now you know the female experience. No, no, no. You know a trans woman experience, okay? You don't know the female experience. So before you even start talking like that, why don't you check yourself? Okay? You, you, you need to check them. Because the men aren't going to do it for you. The men are just not. Men like me, we're not going to do it for you. Well, I don't care. I think it's funny. I'm laughing as I see uh, women be smoked left and right by men. Um, uh, men taking up uh, uh, winning beauty pageants. Men being on Sports Illustrated. Men getting into Playboy. Men uh, just dominating. You know, I, I think it's funny. I think, first of all, I think America's fucking clown show now. I think it's, you know, I have some... I have some, uh, I guess, demoralized beliefs about how things are going. But if you wanted to change women, you need to step up. You need to step up and vocalize and say something. Don't be a transphobe. But, but, and don't worry about the label. But firmly say and hold your ground on what it means to be a woman versus what it means to be a trans woman. And you could say that because you guys are ladies. You guys are women. You could say, well, no, 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 no. Trans women can't give birth. That makes no sense. You don't even have a uterus. You don't even have a working pussy. You just, if you did get a sex op, you have a, a mutilated penis that's turned inside out, which by the way, the human body treats as an injury as it is and tries to heal. If you want to look into it, look into it. But you'd be grossed out. You, you, will, you will puke out your lunch. I'm not even making this up. The, uh, the trans woman vag is a mutilated penis. It is an inverted penis. It is treated as an injury. They have to dilate it by inserting objects in there to keep it uh, pretty much a cock pocket. Otherwise, it heals. It tries to heal. Why? Because it's an injury. The body doesn't want it. Like, like this whole thing goes against like human nature. This whole thing goes against the biology, but that's a whole other rant. That's a whole other fucking rant. You know, when you have to force yourself into these changes by taking uh, puberty blockers and a bunch of hormones and stuff, you're inserting things in your body that aren't naturally, you can say the chemical is naturally occurring. No, but what you're doing is not natural. <laughs> okay. 
it, not natural at all. In fact, you're, you're forced, you're trying to force your body to go through a change it does not want to do. Because the moment you stop, your body goes, no, no, we got to change the course. Is it too late? And, and you know I'm right. Let's get this back with the ladies. Ladies, your days are numbered. If you do not change, if you do not vocalize this, if you don't not hold your ground on this, women are going to be replaced by women, uh, by men, and that's a hundred percent fact. Look, you have Twitter already going all crazy about fin boys. Been doing that for a couple, like a year, about two years almost. And it's not irony. Some of these guys are actually really into bussy now. Some of these guys think it's not gay to be into bussy as long as the boy looks very feminine. Okay. Well, dude, that is weird. But you know what? That ladies, y'all have to worry about that because those guys that would normally be in the chicks, we look at y'all contributing to your OnlyFans, now are now in the bussy. Because boys, I guess, do it better. Like they're they can lift weights better, they can swim better, they can run better, <laughs> they can apparently model better. They make for better Playboy models, I guess. <laughs> they make for better cyclists. Ladies, y'all need to hold your ground. Hold your ground and let the world know there's a difference between being a trans woman and a woman. Otherwise, you'll be replaced and do not cry when it happens. Is I'm not going to care, and other people will not care. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoy this rant. You have a good one.